Hey there, Gemini, and welcome back. This is your reading, and today we're going to do something different. We're going to look at all about romance, right? We're going to see what's going on, what you can expect, who's coming forward, and who you may be releasing, right? So let's take a look and see what comes out. Now, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Also, maybe take a look at your significant other's placements if you know them. Okay, so let's get into this. What do we have for Gemini? Give me some energies. Okay, we have forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there may be something that you're learning, something that you're releasing, right? We also have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So there may be a situation to where you're in a relationship or that you would be starting a relationship, but you're learning new things about the person. And there's something that you need to forgive. There's something that they indulge to you that lets you, you know, kind of, gives you some sort of trust issues about the person right because we have new love at the bottom so i do feel like this may be someone who is new a new person has stirred ro your romantic feelings so I, I do feel like this is someone new who is just showing up showing out you know and there's things about them that you may not agree with but they're asking for your forgiveness they're asking for you to accept them as they are and to just trust in the process right so let's take a deeper look let's take another look at gemini what energies do we have for gemini please wow this one wants to come out we have take back your power archangel raziel Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So, you know, take back the power that you know is yours, right? We also have passion. Archangel Hanya, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So, beautiful. I feel like this is going to be a very passionate time. Um... It's also going to be a time where, you know, you find your power. You are this creative child of God, you know, of the higher source, of the higher power. Whatever higher power you believe in, you are very loved and you are being protected, right? So and I feel like this is a time to really show your power. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with really is invigorated by the passion the power that you show you know i feel like that's their attraction towards you is that confidence that you bring you know that exhilarance that outflow of just positive vibes you know um, i'm a gemini myself so i truly 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 understand that, you know, we have a lot of times when we're down. We have a lot of times when we're high. But a lot of times we don't let people know we're in them spaces, right? We kind of put on this mask. We put on this show that everything is all and well. But underneath we may be feeling certain feelings, certain um, aspects of our relationships, of things that we're going through. So I, I totally understand and I totally feel for you Gemini right so let's get some more energy for Gemini we have peace the number 23 so the number 23 may be very significant for you but I feel like you know what you want is you want peace peace in your relationship peace in your life you're looking for that calmness for that you know stillness right and we have yin so the number two you know, who is the yin to your yang? You know, who is that soulmate? This is half of a soulmate vibe. So at the bottom, we also have blessed. So I feel like at this time, you know, you're truly blessed, whether you see it or not, Gemini. 
okay so let's take a look at the love oracle let's see what's coming out in gemini's love life we're talking about all about romance what's coming out for gemini what's coming out for gemini spirit give me a message what's coming out for gemini all about romance okay the palm tree look at this all about peace you're looking for stability you're looking for that that mate that is going to bring you that gentle nature that serene you're looking for something that's going to be long term and very positive but also someone who's going to be flexible because i feel like gemini's are constantly changing and evolving so it has to be someone who's flexible someone who doesn't really mind that you are changing you are growing right we also have wedding rings so there may be some kind of union in your future the this may be an opportunity for you to have this soul connection this eternal love something that is going to last a lifetime this may be the everlasting promise that you're looking for right so we also have the golden mirror so with this golden mirror energy, it could be that you're dealing with another Gemini. It, all, it could also mean that you and this person may be twin flames. You may be really mirroring each other. You may be very similar. Um, but I feel like you know you are kind of two peas in one pod, right? Maybe it there's a situation to where, you know, you may be apart but you still feel connected okay so that's what i'm getting so let's take a look at the romance tarot let's take a look at that romance tarot let's see what we have for gemini all about romance for gemini all about romance please do we have Okay, so we have the helper of abundance. Okay, and let's see, I'm going to pull the other ones first too. We have the guardian of thoughts. We have the seven of thoughts. So a lot of thinking going on and we have the seven of abundance. Okay, so something growing. Okay, we also have the five of action. The five of action is the five of wands. Okay, so there may be some kind of competition between you and this person. Uh, there may be someone that finds your person very attractive and you're like feeling kind of defensive. Okay, but uh, here's the message. Your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. Okay, so I feel like there are going to be some kind of challenges that you're going to face here in April. Um, but I feel like you are strong enough to deal with those challenges with ease. Okay, so we have the helper of abundance. The helper of abundance. This is the knight of pentacles. Okay, although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help you out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart and quick wit and endless patience. This person could be you. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is letting you know that someone is here to help. There's someone who's going to bring in advice in your situation. This also may be your significant other who is coming in to, you know, give you that good advice, give you that good nurturing, you know, that, that quick laugh, that quick wit that's going to keep you uplifted, right? So we also have the guardian of thought. This is the king of swords. You may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words. You'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find 
one yourself. This situation involves someone who is professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person, who could be you, may be emotionally unavailable. Okay, So I feel like if you're dealing with a person, I feel like they may hide their feelings. They may not show their feelings the way that you do, right? This, this could also be a characteristic of yours because, you know, this is the, the swords, you know? Um, so the person that you're dealing with could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this could be your energy. But I feel like you hide your, your emotions very well. You don't really put on if you're sad or if you're happy, if you're content, or if you're bored, right? So and I feel like, you know, if these are your emotions, I feel like you need to dive within to see exactly how you feel and maybe even show those to the person that you're involved with. Maybe let down your guard a bit and show your emotions, show how you feel, you know, show a little bit of vulnerability in the situation. I feel like they, they already see you as very confident, very outgoing, very daring and bold. But now they may need to see you as vulnerable. They may need to see you as someone that they can help, someone that they can step in and maybe save, right? Um, we also have the Seven of Thought. So this is the Seven of Swords. You've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels or disclosed by a friend or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. Okay, so I feel like something is becoming clear. There's something that's being revealed to you that maybe you weren't aware of, but you kind of you kind of knew the answer, but you didn't want really want to go there, right? So that may be where this forgiveness is coming in. It, you know, we have the seven of bun of abundance. This is the Seven of Pentacles. And we have have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry. The hard work you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to pre prepare because things will soon move forward very quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. Okay? So... Yeah, there's something in your future that's going to go by very fast. It's going to start moving. It's going to, that may be this, this wedding ring that's coming about. That may be the stability. Um, it may be the passion that's coming forward that, you know, you're really anticipating. So let's go ahead and get a, let's get some messages from your person. What does your person want to say? get some messages from your person. We'll do this deck first. Okay, messages from your person, please. What energies are coming out? Give me a message all about romance. For Gemini. Message for Gemini, please. Well, way too many. But we'll take that first one. I love you. And we have, you came closer than anyone. And we have, I wish I could share my good news with you. So there may be some distance between you and this person. Okay? I don't react when people mention you. Okay? I am becoming a better person. Okay. So, I feel like this person has a lot to say. Um, this person wishes that they could share something with you, but I feel like they're kind of holding back their emotions. They're holding back some certain feelings because they're not sure how you're going to react. Um, it may be a time when you and this person are separated because there's a need to forgive and learn from the experience. But I feel like this person is saying that, you know, they're closer to you than anyone else in their life. 
and I feel like they have they may have trouble showing their emotions or showing exactly how they feel or maybe even communicating or speaking how they feel but they feel like they're opening up like they're becoming this better person that you may see in a different light right so let's take a look let's give more messages for this person give me more messages for gemini all about romance what does this person need to say to gemini what would they like to say please messages for gemini okay you've triggered me i feel like you make this person very angry sometimes you kind of get on their nerves you know you do little things that they kind of trigger them they kind of leave them like bewildered like did Gemini really do that, right? Okay, and will you leave me like the others? I feel like this person has a lot of fear that they're going to be abandoned, okay? And we have, I wish I could understand you. So, uh, I feel like this person is really looking to be understood, but they may not know how to communicate because look at what we have on the bottom. I can't make a decision. So I feel like this person is kind of caught between what is right for them and what is like negative, you know? I feel like this person is, is having a very t hard time um, navigating through this relationship, navigating through your relationship, you know? Um, hmm. Maybe with you guys mirroring each other, maybe you are having a hard time as well, Gemini. But I feel like there's a lot of things that are left unsaid. There's a lot of things that want to that wanna be said. If this is someone new um, coming through, I really feel like this is someone who really wants the chance to get to know you better, but they just, they don't know how you react. They wish they, they knew the right way to go, you know? Let's get some handmade cards for Gemini. Oh, wow. Okay. I have, I think about you, even when we're apart. I will talk to you soon. Happy times are coming. Okay. And we have believe in yourself. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay. And good luck. <laughs> I feel like spirit is telling you good luck with this person because this person is kind of all over the place. You know? <laughs> so that's very interesting. We've got one more that wants to fall out here. So let's take a look and see what that is. <laughs> we have I'm not willing to change so I feel like this person is stuck they're stuck you know and I feel like they have a hard time going with the flow and I feel like that's exactly what they need to do they need to go with the flow and I feel like they're not willing to change them they're not willing to see a different point of view and you on the other hand Gemini you're very adaptable you're very you know, you can kind of integrate into any situation and navigate it without with ease, you know. Um, so that's very interesting. Okay, let's get a message. Um, let's get a timeline for this person. When will the situation get better with this person that Gemini is dealing with? When will things work out? When will Gemini understand their true attentions? Okay. You are experiencing fear with the thought of change. Eliminate the fear and the time frame is half a year. Wow. So six months. Give it six months, Gemini. And see where it's going from there. Hmm. That's very interesting, Spirit. That's very interesting. 
that, you know, you know, there may be wedding bells, wedding rings within six months, you know, um, but I feel like spirit is letting you know, you know, navigate through your fears, through your situation and come back to it within six months. You're going to have this time frame, right? So let's take a look. Let's get some tarot to navigate a little bit further in this reading. Let's get some tarot, please. Give me three cards for Gemini. All about romance. Three cards all about romance. Okay, this one. The Knight of Wands. Wow. The Three of Cups and the Hierophant. There's that marriage. Yeah, there's that marriage. There's that celebration. Okay. So definitely, I feel like there's going to be a proposal. There's going to be an offer. Um, there's someone who's taking action. But actually, the action is being a little bit slower than normal because he's taking action in the opposite direction, right? He's like, um, I'm not really sure if I want to take this plunge. Now, this could be a male or a female. I'm just placing he because it's the night, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, they're going in, in the opposite direction of this marriage and commitment. So I feel like it's going to be very slow moving. It may take a little bit longer than six months, but I feel like the action that they're taking is away from this love and commitment and not towards it. Okay, so that's very interesting. That's very interesting to know. Um, let's go ahead and get some oracle cards. See what is going on for Gemini. Okay, we have white. So I feel like in this situation, you're going to be enlightened. You're going to become more clear on what needs to be done in your situation. Um, you're going to feel more light you know um, I feel like you know you're going to feel more protected in your situation um, also we have the dolphin wow cosmic consciousness definitely that's clarity I feel like you're going to get some kind of intuitive um, message some kind of intuitive message is going to come to you, okay? You're going to get clarity. I feel like the divine is surrounding you, protecting you during this time, okay? And we have the dragonfly, which is transformation and magic. So this is where the magic happens, is in change, is in transformation. So there is a possibility that this, this situation can totally transform into what it is that you're looking for. So don't uh, refuse the possibilities, right? Believe the impossible is possible situation, okay? So let's go ahead and get an angel number for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know in this situation? Give me an angel number for Gemini. 333 three, three, potential. What did I tell you? Potential. Your chance to reach your highest potentials are here. Perseverance has gotten you where you are. And you have been through so much. And this guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be. Right? And your affirmation, Gemini. My potential is infinite. I use my strength as my ally and to pursue my highest good. Right? So that is your, that is your reading, Gemini. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They could be resonating with you more at this time. Or take a look at your significant other's placements. Okay? And I hope this reading helps. Many blessings to you. I love you, Gemini. And um, until your next reading, love and light.